I noticed on Ally McBeal they have co-ed bathrooms. I don't think that's ever gonna work in practical use. You know? <laughs> Women are never gonna let us share their fucking bathrooms, you know, because men mess up a bathroom. You know, we, we, we first of all we we always leave a little pee on the toilet seat for you. You know, you know, I, I, don't, I don't care who you are. I don't care who the man is. Troy Aitman can't get the pee in the toilet without getting someone to see. It's just amazing. And women, you all have really nice restrooms. I've passed, you know, when you go to a club and you see a women's room open, just look in there real quick. You know, it's like, this shit is nice, you know? They always have like wallpaper and a, a chaise and finger sandwiches and shit. You know? I've actually seen like a couch in a women's bed. What the fuck y'all need a couch in there for? It's like, ooh, girl, I love it in the bathroom. You know? Go on, take your time. Sure, it's, it's nice in here, you know? Y'all have all kinds, y'all have plants. I, you can't put a plant in a man's bathroom. <laughs> Not if you wanted to live. <laughs> they don't want to put porcelain in our bathrooms. You go, ever go to a baseball game in some cities, they don't even have porcelain, they just have like a galvanized fucking trough on the wall for men, you know? <laughs> Ladies, I swear to God, we just, just put your dick in it, anywhere, you know? And what's amazing about men's room, sometimes, you know, I understand pee on the toilet seat, but sometimes you come in and there's pee all out in front of all over here and shit. How do you get pee way out here? You know, what, what, do we black out at some point? This, you know, is there a millisecond where it just felt so good to finally pee, you just, just touch. And you can't get to the urinal, you know? It's the good. You, you need those handles on the subway in New York so you can lean into that motherfucker, you know? And I was just like, oh shit, it's pee on the handle. Like, oh shit. Sometimes they have restroom attendants. I hate that. It's just uncomfortable. First of all, I don't know how much to tip them. It just ruins my whole experience. You know, how much to, you know, you know in a restaurant you do 15% or 20%, but in a bathroom, 15% of what? <laughs> how do you figure that shit out? It's like, ooh, I owe him $20, maybe. <laughs> how do you figure it out? Yeah, women are just cleaner than men. That's, that's the one thing we can agree on. Women are cleaner than men. You will never see like a woman with skid marks, for instance, right? <laughs> That's the truth. <laughs> you never, but there's a man in here right now with skid marks. Yeah. There's a grown ass motherfucking man here, probably president of a bank or some shit, drive a four door Jag, got shit in his drawers right this motherfucking minute. <laughs> right now. <laughs> But you never see, see women take their time. You know, men are always in a rush and shit. You know, it's like, and, and, and it's hard to rush in a public bathroom because somebody tightens up the toilet paper roll. You know, so you only get one sheet of <laughs> No, I, I got to go to <laughs> I like the ones at home, you can, you know. Yeah. I got shit to do. Yeah, I used to have skid marks when I was a kid. My mother broke me of that. Well, when I was like seven years old, my mother, your mothers warn you. They all, because mothers do the laundry. You know, mothers will warn you, look, you better take your time and wipe your ass and all that shit. Like, like, yeah, right, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And one day I'm sitting in my bedroom with a girl from my class named Vitella Camper. And my mother doesn't know I have company. And the door is closed. And all I remember was the door flying open and it seemed like everything else was in slow motion. My mother had a pair of my drawers in her hand. Yeah. And, and, and she was coming towards me. And I didn't know whether to jump on her like she was a fucking grenade or, or elbow this girl to knock her out until the shit is over and drop some bows on her. I didn't know what, you know, you know what to do. <laughs> oh, and and, and I, I'll never forget that moment. Dude, I did not tell you. Wipe your ass. The walls are just blinding me, you know? It's like, no!
They say your grades follow you all through school. <laughs> Stories like that will fuck your life up, too. <laughs> she broke me of that. That's one thing. You motherfuckers will say some shit about me, but the one thing you never hear about me is that my ass was thinking. I, I, to this day, now, I, I wipe, I put, I, I go to the sink and wet the shit in the <laughs> Oh, I, I'm gonna get my ass right. Yeah, you know that. Why don't they put the sink close? You know? <laughs> yeah, my shit's gonna be right. Fellas, wipe your ass. It's really important, you know? It's a, Every woman in here has, has known a guy who you didn't go out with a second time because when he got off your couch, there was a little pungent <laughs> yeah, You don't get a return blind date, motherfucker. <laughs> oh, my. Thank you. 